Nice to see you. Thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the five minutes with Julian. Uh, no worries, Julian. So we can talk a little bit about produce and uh, what produce does for Ruffle Bar and Grill and how uh, how using Parifi uh, helps you do what you do. We've, um, I mean, I've, I've had an association, I guess, with you guys for, for 20 odd years because yeah. we used to use our uh, Parisis when I was down at Catalina yeah. um, and you guys always delivered everything that was the best. Um, cool. And then, yeah, when we, when we switched over here and started using it, same thing, and I think your dad always refers to it as the as the glamour. Yeah, yeah. Everything's yeah. the glamour stuff. I'll send you the glamour peaches, yeah. the glamour this. So, um, yeah, we, I know that you guys always send the best, and uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, that seasonality it's so important to us because our menu is so simple. We run, we really do run with the seasons and run with the catch. Like we speak to the fishermen in the mornings. Um, you know, we speak to our, our poultry suppliers, we speak to cattle farmers on a weekly basis and find out what's happening. Yep. Um, and you know, you guys just tie in all the vegetables to that. So yeah, it's very important. I've noticed uh, chefs more recently have been doing a lot with eating product in more of a raw state rather than cooking or in addition to. Yeah. How do you feel about serving, you know, a radish on a plate versus cooking a capsicum, for example? And I know that you do, do both. Yeah. But... I mean, there's lots of dishes too where you'll serve the, the one vegetable and you'll, you'll serve some of it raw, maybe some of it pickled and some of it preserved and then, you know, some of it cooked or braised and you might combine all of them to get different flavours and different textures out of the one um, vegetable. But I mean, at the moment we've got the, we've got all the beautiful zucchinis that are coming, the yeah, zucchini yeah, the and, and the squashes. Yeah. yeah, so we're shaving all of them raw. Um, with pecorino and mint and yeah. You guys tend to go for all premium product whether it's um, zucchini, capsicum, eggplant and you're one of the few venues that do do that around Sydney I find that um, are you know ordering everything to be per um, everything. perfect size and specification is very important. Yeah ev everything we ask for we, mm. we expect the best <laughs> yeah. and if we don't get it we let you know yeah, which yeah. is very very rare you yeah. know uh, you guys are you know pretty pretty on point with all of that yeah. um, and we have to our food is so simple here yeah. it relies on the quality of the produce yep. um, so yeah we, we, don't, we can't really take any second you're doing a lot with uh, native Australian product at the moment. Yeah, so not a lot. Origals. Yeah, not a lot. We, we incorporate it into certain parts of the menu, mm -hmm. but we don't make it the main focus of okay. anything that we do. I think um, a lot of restaurants sometimes get a bit, a bit lost in trying to show case the native stuff okay. instead of incorporating into the traditional things that we've had going for years. We serve a lot of native seafood, and that, that's something that I think always gets overlooked is the the native uh, seafood people, you know. Um, eating out outside of, you know, working here at Ruffle Bar and Grill, are there places that you're happy to comment on where you'd eat out, just different uh, cuisines or things that you enjoy yeah, or, yeah, and or prefer not to talk about? No, 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 <laughs> I, and it's it, it, Spice Temple downstairs. Yeah. It, 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 I know it's um, it's part of our restaurant part group, group. <laughs> but, but man, I love the food there. Uh, Kylie Kwong as well, yeah. place to always love eating it there. and. Um, yeah, there's, a, there's a, a place in Melbourne, Dainty Szechuan, that I absolutely love. Um, a little bit about, I suppose, your life outside of cooking, you know, so family, family man, you know, yeah, sports. Yeah, I've, sort of I've got two kids, but um, yeah, my, my, my guess my main hobby would be uh, fishing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I'm a very uh, keen fisherman. I, love, I grew up sort of on the northern beaches of Sydney, and so we always um, would, would, you know, I would would walk down to the beach and we'd always fish down there and go for oysters, find stuff. Yep. Um, I've had a boat since I was about 17 years old sharing with mates, you know, a whole bunch of us chuck in to buy a tinny so that we can go and do stuff. And yeah, yeah. yeah I've kept the same mate buying that same tinny and now we've upgraded to a, a 30 foot boat. I was about to say a 60 foot yacht. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's purely a fishing boat. It's yeah, um, meant by a family boat. Yeah. It's a fishing boat. Um, yeah, but I, you know, I love catching, you know, Sydney Harbour's got so many you know, it's so many fish in it. It's, you can go out fishing in Sydney Harbour and clean up. Mate, thanks for five minutes with Julie. No worries, it's Jules. It's a pleasure to see you, mate. Yeah, good to see you. Thank you.